everyone, this is Heather Smith from Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to load our presets into both Lightroom and the Adobe Camera Raw filter in Photoshop. So when you receive an order from us, you will get an email with all the downloadable links, and you will notice they are little zip files, and they look like this. You must open the zip file in order to load them into either Lightroom or the Camera Raw. And all you have to do, guys, is just double click it, and voila, you will see that there is now a little folder with all of your XMP files. If for some reason it doesn't open with just double click PC users, just right click and select the option extract all and they should that should do the trick right there. But you want to have these little files there in order to load. Now all you have to do is go into Lightroom and make sure you're in the develop mode and come over here to the presets hit the plus button and select the option import presets. In here you can see the Cocoa presets have already popped up for me. This won't always be the case, especially if you're unzipping more than one file at once. Um, so all you have to do is cl click over here on this search and type in the presets you're looking for. It's very helpful if say you have them saved on your desktop or download to have that option selected too. And then I am just going to select them all and hit import and there we go they loaded right on up there as you can see and you can close it by just hitting this down arrow and opening it if for some reason you're missing a few presets from the pack um, when you load it all you have to do is go up to the Lightroom um, classic up at top and hit preferences I know that was kind of out of your view there but it's just right up there um, at top and make sure that your show partially compatible develop presets is checked and that will solve all the problems. Now once you have the presets loaded into Lightroom they will just sync over to your camera Adobe RAW filter in Photoshop through your Creative Cloud plan but just in case you don't want to go into Lightroom first or you prefer to just load right into the camera Adobe RAW filter in Photoshop I'm going to show you how to do that. So clicking here I am in Photoshop and what you want to do is go up to the very top, the option um, filter, and then you want to go into camera raw filter. I'm going to shrink this down so you guys can see what I am doing. Okay, so then in order to load the presets, you want to hit the presets button here or select the shift P. And you are going to hit the three little dots, moving that over so you can see and you want to import profiles and presets. And then you will just type in the preset that you want and select it. I already have them all loaded in here, so I'm not able to load them again. And that's it guys, it's really easy. And just like in Lightroom, say you're trying to load these presets and you have a JPEG open and the presets are only partially compatible, you're gonna notice that you might get like, oh, a simplicity four, five, and six missing, something like that, because, um, I don't know, Adobe is really weird sometimes. You just want to click on these three buttons and hit the show partially compatible presets, and they will all show up, just like magic. Anyway, you can buy the Storyville presets at www.storyvillephotography.com. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.